purchases in my beauty room I have that I regret buying. Um, so I mean, we all obviously make these mistakes sometimes. Um, but for me, I have a lot of these pieces I have had for a long time now. Um, so I'm really excited to share these five items with you. I just don't use them as much. And I just thought this video was so fun to film and it's really honestly been one of my favorite videos to watch here on YouTube. Welcome back to my channel and happy Fashion Friday. I am here with a very exciting video that I keep seeing on YouTube and I keep watching these videos and I'm like, why have I not done this video before? This is going to be five expensive items that I regret buying. Um, so I see these all the time. They usually have ones that are designer related. So everything I will show you today is all designer, um, probably my most expensive things. And it was really easy actually for me to choose these items because I actually do have five items that I want to talk about today and that are on this list that I do regret buying. Um, we all obviously make those mistakes sometimes. Over the years, my style has changed drastically and things that I typically wanted to buy, I don't necessarily like anymore and that just happens. That's with everything. Um, so I'm really excited to share these five items with you and like I said, I've been so addicted to watching these videos. Let me know in the comments if you guys are as well. Um, I just find them very fun to watch and we all make those mistakes of purchases all the time so this is very normal um let me know though your top regret and it can be designer it doesn't have to be just something expensive you bought that you regret down in the comments and i'm really excited to share with you the five items that i have today so if you want to see what items i regret buying just keep on watching hey, you guys so i have the first item right here and i'm doing no particular order these are five things that i really do regret buying and i'll explain why and i'll show you what pieces in my beauty room i have that i regret buying um so i mean we all obviously make these mistakes sometimes um but for me i have a lot of these pieces i have had for a long time now um so this first piece i'm going to show you guys right here in this used to be one of my favorite bags of all time especially when i bought it i this is probably one of the first designer bags i think i ever owned um so this i bought in vancouver i'd say about four years ago and it's a beautiful bag i love the gold hardware i love the color this was the first beige bag that i ever bought like nude bag and it was just very different uh towards the bags i usually would have which are like pink and i would typically go for so it was just something different which i liked about it um i also loved the handles so you guys can actually hold it like this or you can wear it the long long way as well this is gonna sound really funny but i find that this bag is too professional looking especially for the job i have and i'm not out in an office I'm not like dressed up throughout the day. I'm usually at home filming in my comfy clothes And if I go out, I usually tend to go for more like of like a side purse um, Or just like, you know, a wallet on chain and that is usually what I go typically go for if I'm going out um, Now this bag, like I said, it's very professional looking to me and it's very dressy uppy And then another thing I don't like about this bag is it is extremely stiff um, so if you look at the bag here, like it's actually a really hard bag to open and close um, So right here I can hardly like it's super stiff like I can hardly get this part open here um, So it kind of stays like this. I mean it does hold its shape well And I think that's why the bag is like that, but this is just such an awkward bag um, like to wear as a side bag it just doesn't suit me and I'm sure I'm gonna plop like some um, footage in here so you can actually see what this looks like on and it just looks really awkward I think with the outfits I wear and I just I've had such a hard time pairing outfits with this bag um, like I said it's a beautiful color beautiful like I love the gold hardware which is my favorite but I just never gravitate to this bag ever anymore and it's so sad because it was such a beautiful bag it still is but it's just not my style i'd say anymore so this would definitely have to be on my regret list you guys next item i have here that is on my regrets list is my lv belt um so it's really funny i have a lot of people when they see this they're like oh my god it's beautiful i love it it's reversible as well and it's light pink and then on the inside here it has the lv classic lv print 
this belt you guys has not been my friend that's for sure i've maybe worn it twice and the thing that i've had a really hard time with it doesn't fit into a lot of my jeans um so yeah i've had a really hard time wearing this belt also i find that it doesn't do up properly um now i don't know if i'm putting it on wrong but i've just every time that i take this belt out i'm like i put it on and then i take it off and i'm like no it doesn't really go it doesn't really suit my outfit and i don't know what it is it's just really really hard um to wear this belt i find and it's not as a, like it's not comfortable um it comes off sometimes the two times that i have worn it it's kind of come undone um so i don't know if i'm putting it on wrong or what i'm doing but i mean i just for such an expensive belt i think i'll put the price here but it's an expensive belt and this was like one of my first like i don't own any other luxury belts this is the only one i have i bought this right before i found out i was pregnant with the girl so that is why i never really got a chance to wear it but even now that i'm not pregnant anymore i don't gravitate towards wearing this it is a beautiful piece a beautiful belt but i just don't wear it enough and i really i think over the gucci one i prefer the gucci one i know it's a more popular belt and, but i find that you might be able to wear that with more outfits i don't think i'd wear the louis vuitton print side because it just wouldn't go with a lot of my outfits um i've only worn it on the pink side um but for the price point this is just not being worn enough and then i realized i'm like you know what i don't actually wear jeans all the time like right now i'm wearing jean shorts but um usually during the winter i'm wearing leggings just things that i wouldn't even be able to wear a belt with i mean this is also too small to wear with a dress i find and you'd have to wear this with jeans so i don't even wear jeans that often and i just wish i was wearing this more than i do so i would have to say i told i do regret buying the belt okay so my third item i regret buying right here is actually my Prada wallet and you guys have probably seen this the one time the first time actually we traveled with the girls So I have a vlog that's up uh, the first time we brought them over to Vancouver. So I did bring this with me um, I've used this only once and I bought this from fashion file and the reason why I did was because it was so discounted So when I bought this on fashion file, I saved a lot of money. I think it went down to 10% off um, But it kept getting reduced and reduced because it wasn't being bought So I was like, what? Like it's such a beautiful wallet. It really is um, So the pink is a really different pink than what I would typically go for I usually go for a very pale light pink and this is a darker pink in person and then I also love the gold logo um, but the thing is I never use this wallet and if I have to be honest if I'm taking out a pink wallet I'm gonna take Louis Vuitton or Chanel any day over Prada I am not really happy to with the quality I've never owned something Prada um, so after trying out the quality and seeing it it's just not as nice it's not as nice as uh chanel or louis vuitton in my opinion just yeah i don't know i don't gravitate towards this either and um even though i got it on discount and i got it off fashion file a pre-love site i still just wish i was using it more and i'm i'm just not i i totally think it's a beautiful wallet in color um maybe i would have gone with the larger size if i were to like repurchase this but i mean i wouldn't um but yeah, this would have to be a regret. I have my next one here. We are almost at five, but this one is really funny because I think you guys will be shocked it's on this list, but um, I never wear this bag and it just is so sad because I love this print so much. It's my favorite print by Louis Vuitton and I've said this many times in my video. It's the Rose Ballerine um, and it's this bag right here and it is so cute it's such a cute bag um but i actually ended up getting the wallet on chain version which i wear that all the time and i like it so much more um and this one is so similar but smaller so i mean it's just a bag i do not reach for at all and this is actually a camera bag you guys can probably hear the girls downstairs um they're screaming right now <laughs> probably playing but um yeah the thing is this bag is just a tad bit small and if i'm going to take a wallet on chain i would prefer to take um the other one it also comes with like the card slips on the inside so it just makes a lot more sense if i'm getting groceries or if i'm out with the girls and i need my credit cards i need my um id and whatnot like in here there's no compartments because it's meant to be a camera bag but at the time when i bought this i thought i would just use it as like a normal purse um but it's not like i would ever put my vlogging camera in here or anything like that but I don't know you guys I just don't use this bag a lot and I mean this still is my favorite print of all time it's a beautiful beautiful bag I think I really like that Louis Vuitton does you always get like a little change purse or something to put your cards in um, that's separate so it actually came with this 
and this I really like like I mean this is like a little card holder little change you can put whatever you want in here um, but I mean this I would just take out of it and use this I wouldn't really use the camera bag I'm gonna show you guys the difference so these two bags right here this also has a chain on it so it's literally so similar but like I said this one here comes with both of these so they're much bigger you can fit a lot more in this bag i also like the size the shape i like everything more about this bag but i bought this after um i bought the camera bag so i'm just gonna show you quickly you can see the difference so this one's quite a bit smaller than this bag um but i mean if i had to choose i would obviously wear this one more and then there's just no point in having this one um it's really a collector's piece now and i just have it in my collection and i'm sure it'll go down to me and sophia and um yeah so that would definitely have to be one of my regrets these videos are funny sometimes because some people will be like oh like why did you buy it then if you don't like it um but it's not that i don't like it it's that i've had these items now for years and over the years your style everything changes your wardrobe um and pieces don't get used so that is why um it was so easy for me to like do this video because i would probably say there's a few more items that i could get on this list but i wanted to do five like these are my top five that i regret um so i mean it's completely normal and i was just yeah like i said very excited to do this video and now we are at four so i have my last item right now and i'm going to show it to you this one i probably say is my biggest regret okay so the last bag i have here i've already said this i think in one of my videos where i admitted to you right after buying it um it was not the right size i didn't think it was so small and it's the dior diorama micro bag um so i should have known with micro but it looked so much bigger in the photo that's something too i find with fashion file you can never really see how small something is because the pictures were so big so this tiny little bag right here is even smaller than this one you guys it is tiny so small and you cannot fit anything in here you could fit like a few cards and that's about it your phone can't even fit into this bag um like i said it did remind me of me and sophia just being so tiny um so that is one thing i liked about it but it also is so hard to close this bag and there were actually a little bit of indents on this because you really have to push like it's not even closed right now you have to push so hard and for me i hate doing that on a bag like I still can't push it there we go so you have to be very forceful when closing this bag and that's one thing i didn't like about it it also has an extremely thick chain for such a small tiny bag um so i would have gone with like a skinnier chain that just the more it didn't make any sense to me on owning and it's just such a funny like it's such a small bag i don't know who would actually use this and be able to fit things in here like this is so small let me show you guys up close that's how small it is it's tiny my phone will not fit in here um it has one card slot and that's it in here um yeah so it is so small like i said this chain is so long and thick and it just doesn't make sense like at all to me and oh i just really don't like this bag so i'm actually going to my brother's wedding next month and i thought i would take this with me only because i don't really have to carry anything but i still want to have like a little clutch um to have like my lipstick in it's like the only thing i'll have i'll probably only have my room card key and then my lipstick so this just makes sense if like i'm not gonna have anything with me and then i'm gonna take off the chain so then i'll just hold it as a clutch um but have i used this no i have not used this um so it's just really small just too small for me but i mean this in a like the larger form i would love but i find it quite expensive dior is very expensive um so i mean i did get this for a good price on fashion Five. i bought it pre-loved and i think it was I think it was nine hundred or thousand dollars, and I mean that's still expensive for a bag. But I know Dior bags are very expensive, so um, at the time I just thought it was a super, it was a super quick decision I made. And at while I was looking at it, I just thought it was bigger. Um, but I mean, this would have to be probably my biggest regret when buying something luxury. Definitely let me know in the comments though what you guys would have on like your top regrets. Um, I would love to know, and of course I will see you guys on Makeup Monday. Mm -hmm.